Hi friends and welcome to a new small talk video from me. Today is the topic multicam, new stuff and some other things. What is in the progress now? First, um, I try my um, skills in a new ty type of cutting and working, multicam. Multicam is using two cameras or more cameras in uh, in one film segment or for filming. I use um, a couple of time two Z cams, both are the E2 series and both are the same cameras and I maybe you saw saw some videos from me um, in this channel where I for example put my rain gear on or where I do some other stuff to see the different camera angles. I use this because I want make not more dynamic in the videos. I want may have then more possibilities to use these cameras. For example, one shot now um, in front and one top shot. And yes, it's great. I love this kind of two cameras. They are very small and they are very ideal for ideal ideal for this work and the nice thing is uh, because they are so small and light I can use easy and cheaper light stands uh, other YouTube channel inspired me to do this and the nice thing in the background maybe you see it here a little that is the other that is the second Z, Z cam this is not rolling now it's only not for decoration but what I like is I can use a heavy duty microphone stand uh, that is like overhead stand for sim uh, for make mic up cymbals from a drum set or a choir, and so I can um, use this camera for top shots. For example, when I show you something on my working working desk or in the kitchen when I some prepare food and maybe I want to try uh, food things too. I know a very nice guy. He is a fishing guy. He can very amazing. And is very skilled in to f make fillets of uh, uh, this friends. Uh, no, by the way, that is uh, uh, not a real fish. And he's a very great guy to do this. And that is why I use uh, want to use both Z cams too. And the other thing is what I would like to do is with two Z cams, I can use one for time lapse and one for normal filming. The other great thing what I like on the Z cam is. Um, I can sync it. I order the sync cable. That's not very cheap. That is uh, this Lemo to two Ethernet ports, and then I can use standard Ethernet cable um, for syncing the both cameras. Currently, I think it's very easy <coughs> and old-fashioned with <coughs> clapping. I pr uh, prepare both cameras, then I go to the one camera, press record, go to other cameras, press record, clap, roll the film. And then I wait some seconds, then again clap. Then I go to my DaVinci machine. By the way, there's a f uh, coming update, so if you want to see that, you can subscribe me and then you can see my update. Oh, yeah, it's a very nice update in the future. Then I added this on my uh, DaVinci machine and I can sync it via DaVinci of, on audio. I use the assistance tools, but um, I learned in my training time to, uh, as a camera operator, to sync it via, or cutter, sorry, we are hearing and looking the frame work nice, and I love to work with multicam, especially with the Z cam because they are very small, they're very handy, uh, very fast working. I like the medium, the media. They use the C fast cut. Okay, there are better cuts outside. But they are reliable, they are not too expensive. I have a bunch of them now. Slam in the computer, transfer the data on Bali Boop, Bali de Boop, or so. The data is ready for cut. Um, yes, I love the, the ProRes format. I record now in 4 to 2. Again, um, DCA 4K or 4K, not UHD, in 60 frames around, and no hassle, no problem. The amazing thing other is I can use I can um, control both cameras via network cable, put it in my switch, ready to go, and so I can control the cameras like now. Um, 
via a general computer or with any device they able to work with a browser. So, what I love this, uh, next to this camera, what I love is, yes, MFT mount, very small, the quality is great for the size, okay, a Red Komodo is better, a RLX is better, a Blackmagic is maybe better, not maybe, but they are better in some coin, in some points, I mean, but for my setup, for my private use, or for my hobby use, great cameras, I love the, the handling, the, the grip, is, uh, that is one of the smallest setup now, here is a, a universal, like a kit lens, Panasonic uh, lens on it, uh, maybe a 12 up to 42, I have to look, and in front, where you can see me, I use a Sigma um, 60 mm uh, from the Z series, from this contemporary series, very great. The autofocus on both lenses are okay, um, but I'm very happy with it. I press autofocus on my smartphone, lock it, and go. So I can I do these videos now. Um, you can put many accessories on these cameras, and you can use other stuff. The great thing what I like on this camera is the ability to stream with this and so I can use OBS um, as my streaming software and we are um, Windows or Linux there is a plugin to use directly the network port from this camera and the Linux sadly not really working um, but I figured out to use another um, capturing device because they have what I love of this, that is why I don't like some normally DSLM cameras. They're great, for example, the GH5, 6, and 4. They have this little um, HDMI output, and that is uh, not, not nice. I like more the full size uh, HDMI. So I can use uh, on this and this camera the HDMI port to feed that to a um, video mixer and, and this video mixer for example a Atom Mini or a similar machine I can feed that to my computer and use this as a switcher or sort of thing for live streaming. The another li nice thing when I love is when I saw the time lapse function. The time lapse function is great. I I love to, to make time lapse, long time lapse, short time lapse. Uh, the last time lapse uh, I want to upload is making with a smartphone. Um, but that is another small talk video topic, um, but not now. The nice uh, last point and amazing thing of these cameras are the usability with gimbals. Um, yes, I'm not a bodybuilder, but I'm not the weakest guy. But if you work or want to use a gimbal, especially the one handed or two handed, yes, you can buy easy rig, blah, and bloop. But these cams are so light and so nice with a small, with a smaller, good MFT lens. Um, I can very long use this on a gimbal. I have some um, technique um, for this holding the gimbal. A very nice and cheap way is to buy a flag pole belt or a holder. That is for guys they are viewing the flags on parades and uh, marching things. That is great. You can stick the gimbal on this um, flag pole holder belt. You can Google it. Um, then you can work very nice with this gimbal, and this work great with special this small cameras. The another nice thing on this, I can use very special indoors, very easy and not too expensive. Uh, sorry, tripods. In fact, uh, again, I, another nice YouTube channel inspired me to use um, light stands. Light stands, yes. Or this microphone stands. So, um, yes, that is the Z-Cam, both uh, E2s, very great cameras. There are some high-end cameras from the company Z-Cam out. Uh, this S or F series, they're very nice. By the way, disclaimer, I'm not sponsored from this company. I buy both cameras on my own. Hmm. That is very important to say sometimes. The next topic, what I want to um, explain is um, light. Uh, may you see or see in some other videos, I have a different light setup 
And first I use this uh, Rolai Luminis, this cubic light. They're great for mobile work, but not so powerful uh, when I want to work with um, high performance um, high performance uh, uh, not on high performance, I mean bigger rooms or other um, things that are, in this case I bought um, for me Nen, uh, Nenlight the company, uh, light from the company Nenlight the Forza um, Forza series and they are very great, amazing for using this lights and um, they have different functions. The best function is what I like, I can uh, adjust the color temperature via my smartphone and I can the power output of the light via the smartphone. I use now 60% of my light uh, from the light, the light former or the, 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 the former in front or how call this thing is uh, like a, like a bell or a pot thing. I bought me for this and I order two lights more because then can I use this typical three uh, fixture system or three light setup but what very amazing for interviews or filming and then I order again to for all three lights this like octodome shaped um, dome and that is very great I have to check something on my phone wait a moment um, yes this octodome thing is great for um, using it with this uh, light, light because then I have the ability to make a very nice wide um, light setup and that is great and the great thing is it's really this controlling via a smartphone and that's uh, very amazing when you work alone so you can walk around um, and see then what you can do with the lights and that is what I love this with this setup uh, so in the near future you can see more amazing um, things what I do with my camera stuff and in this channel this channel uh, I tried to make progress in my channel and make nice videos for you for example from gear videos up to amazing uh, interviews or I try to make with other buddy here around some um, video about my um, uh, my um, music work stuff and other nice things. I have to check the controlling function of this camera via this uh, smartphone. I use a bit older iPhone X. That is why I'm sometimes looking down because I have to check it. Um, it's a good, re great solution with this wireless device. But the best thing is you have a hard connected monitor to view the what you do. And so, um, for some guys, um, may they thinking what I do here is most things what I, I speak in small talk videos are not scripted. I have something in this thing here as head brain, um, but there's not really scripting. Um, for something I try to do the script thing, for example, I. Uh, explain something about my gear but mostly I try to it free it's for me easy to work with them because so I have not a real uh, hassle to follow except the script and I'm so more free that is when you follow the whole uh, small talk videos maybe you see it in the first uh, three videos I changed often cameras and so but now I try to use this system best as possible yes and I'm very happy with this little small setup in the end I can put all three lights two cameras maybe the future at third in a normally suitcase and on top of my mobile uh, MacBook Pro and one, I hope this stupid notebook comes in the next day 
because I um, have to get further to repair. But yeah, that's so happen. I like to work on the M1 uh, Apple M1 because the power is amazing, and for the mobile device it's great. Um, yes, okay. I'm happy with the setup. So now, um, what do I want to say? Nothing special. Um, by the way, for audio, I use Rode. This kind of I take it easy. This little kind of thing. This is Ro the Rode wireless kit, <coughs> and it sounds okay. Sometimes it make hard clips. I don't know why. Maybe the limiter in this road or the limiter in the um, camera itself but I don't I want to switch to a um, shotgun mic this long type of mics because I then kind of make it from all, all over me I like it more or I want to use a headset yes so if you have a question to my setup or any similar things um, feel free to ask me uh, I have no problems to do this. In conclusion, I now use two ZCAM Z2s with MFT lenses from Sigma and Panasonic. Recorded now on a uh, um, uh, CFast card from the company Angelbird. I'm very happy with this company. And it, I added, uh, added all these videos on a current version of the DaVinci Resolve 18 Studio, or Studio 18. And because I need some function of this software um, that I don't buy it. It's very cheap and good. And that is the whole setup. And uh, the last thing is I'm not paid for this. I'm not sponsored and I bought all things for me f on my own. So, buddies and friends, I wish you a nice day. Happy with you gear. I follow some and subscribe to nice channels. They have amazing gear. Nice to watch these videos, and this video inspired me to make my videos better and so. Um, this generally this channel is a fun channel for me to to uh, make a balance between my work and so and distract me from other stupid things in my life and make me happy to make videos. So, buddies, I wish you a good day, good night, or whatever in your time zone. And we see and speak later or soon. I say now, bye-bye.